Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw that classic animated Batman, Bruce Tim style. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, today we're going to draw Batman just like Bruce Tim. We're going to draw him like fresh off the model sheets. We did him once before, but there was some forced perspective and foreshortening and the I'm getting requests, can we learn how to draw him straight? So let's dive right on in. I'll tell you, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that you guys want to continue drawing Batman with me to the point where people have said, you have shown us how to draw him on top of the rooftops. Let's draw him. Uh, let's draw him like, like we would off of the models. So that's what we're going to do today. If you guys recall... So as a recap, we've got the circle. I added a little bit back here for the back of the cranium. The horizontal line is halfway down the circle. And then the size of the circle, we're gonna bring down a square from that horizontal line. I got the vertical down here to show you where the center of his face is. I am so thrilled that you guys wanna continue drawing in this style because this is just this has been so much fun i have been wanting to draw the the bruce tim style on this channel for a little bit um i wasn't sure how well it was going to be received it went like gangbusters you guys you guys um it's been exponential growth on this channel as a result of these playlists and i couldn't be happier so here we go we've got center line here we're gonna bring down the cowl to his mask like so and come up like that okay so let me fix these eyes a little bit here my lead is a little thick for <laughs> for this scale And then we've got his mouth here. And we've got his laugh line in like that. Not laugh line, it's that, yeah. Okay, so we've got Batman here like so. You know, let's throw the body in. So, so Batman's torso is uh, is three heads tall so I'm gonna measure his head and I'm gonna go one two three all right and I'm going to gonna throw in line of action here and bring it down yeah floor comes down here like that as you guys well know I love I love starting it this way here it just, it makes more sense for me to do it this way. We've got his back and his rib cage we'll kind of end up like this. Let's see, center of chest, rib cage, and then, let's see, abs, like that. And then if this line's gonna be like that, his hips have to be like this to counter for balance and to push the weight. Now I own, <laughs> I have to state, I promise you guys the original uh, design, I'm not gonna go into the new look, but my, my fingers keep going there. <clears throat> So some people are saying, well, what's the difference? Well, there are lots of differences. Uh, this character has a lot more curves. He's sleek. And let's see, let's see, while I'm talking, let's see. Yep. Batman's utility belt, I'm drawing it a little low. Okay. So yes, to, to those that are unfamiliar with 
how Bruce Tim evolved Batman. Because some people didn't notice when he when he returned with his new design in, in 97. I, I couldn't believe it. All they noticed was was uh, Robin and, and Batgirl got new costumes. No, they all got new costumes. I didn't think it was that subtle. So for the new look, they took out the blue highlight. They just, instead of giving him the, the deep blue to his costume, they just went straight black. Uh, they flattened out a lot of his curves, angled it a little bit. Uh, Batman looked like he put on a lot more mass in his in his muscle. But there weren't any curves to his design. Everything was very sharp and angular. Got rid of the the yellow bat symbol and went straight for the black bat on his gray bodysuit. Um, but yeah, here let's oval docking that in. <clears throat> Now, if you want to draw in that bat symbol, I, I use that center line that I, I drew down here for the center of his body, and I utilize that. And I like to go from the inside out on the bat symbol. So I'll draw in the bat body and the ears, and then I will give a little scallop here on both sides, and I do it at the same time just to keep it a little uh, symmetrical. And then from there, I will do the outer part of his wing. It's a small little notch here at the top of it. Now let's do it on this side. And you know, you just do your best to keep it as symmetrical as possible. We're not robots, we can't draw everything perfectly, but we can do our best, right? We've got the center of his pecs here, and then the pectoral comes up here into his armpit. On this side, his chest comes out like this. Now, I utilize that underdrawing of his rib cage to give him the outline of the end of the rib cage and down into the torso. We don't see his abs. We just get this one little line here to show you where they are. And then his utility belt, since I'm here, we'll just darken that in. We have the, the buckle here. It's nothing more than a square. And then we'll draw a rectangle on either side. And that's where that little notch goes. Right there. I don't know if it's a... I believe he uses that as a button to release the, the compartment on his utility belt. Right? And now, let's see. We'll draw in his trunks. Like so very roughly here because we're going to draw the legs in in a minute. Now, I'm just going to draw in his arms here. We've got his elbow lines up with the bottom of the rib cage, right? And he's got that cool Bruce Tim forearm going on there. Top of the glove goes there. out there like that and then in okay and we're gonna give him a little bit more of a back there he has three three gauntlets that come out of the glove And if you 
if you're going to be coloring this in, we've got gray, and then we've got a slightly darker gray halftone here that's just going to show you a little, little light differentiation here. I'm going to follow that line down here like this. And I'm going to come on the inside, and we've got a black glove with a blue highlight. So before I draw in the leg, I like to know where that knee is, right? So from here down to here, we need to find the middle point. And that middle point um, will be where that knee goes. Yep. Right here, like so. So I'm going to throw in... Actually, it's like that. Yep. Now, this is before all of the, the, the new sleek redesigns. So we've got a little bit of muscle in here. So we've got a curve line that goes in. And then we give a little extra room for his knee. The early Batman episodes were very, very anatomically close to reality there. So knee. And then we're going to... Yep, found it. So I've gotten some comments that my my hand seems to dance around the paper with the pencil. And I do like to kind of figure out where that pencil lead is going to be making its mark before I start drawing. Um, but honestly, this whole hand dancing technique here, that's all, it's all subliminal. I mean, it's, it's automatic. I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay. So I've got this one here. The other knee will go right about here. Now with Bruce Tim, he likes those those wide stances. I'm kind of cheating the stance a little bit here, ever so slightly. This leg here is more straight up and down than this one. You have to excuse me, the, the peg bar is getting in my way. Um, been a long time since I've played with a peg bar and it's 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 causing me trouble. I should have gotten a 16 field disc, not a 12. It's kind of hampering my style here. I'll get used to it. All right, the boot tops go like this. Here we go. There's no heel to his boot. At least not in this version. He'll get a heel when he joins the Justice League. All right. Uh, the the trunks are black, except for this highlight here, which is uh, that navy blue. So that really tells you that these are just a deep blue, and the highlight here is what's showing you the color. All right, and I'm going to throw in the other arm, but it's going to be kind of back. So, uh, elbow, forearm, fist. Okay, so let's uh, let's draw in the cape. So initially, when the show began, the cape was nice and straight down when it when it rested, right? But we're going to give it a little bit of attitude here. I want to make sure it's the same length on both sides, All right? And then I'm just gonna keep it nice and straight here. 
actually. Yeah. Yeah, so I got this here, and I'll have the upper part of the skull up here. Just drawing in some guidelines to keep it... to keep it uniform. Just like that. Now this blue can be the same color as the highlight. Um, I like to keep it a little darker. But I'm not coloring this in. Guys, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you like drawing other videos like this, I got a playlist right here for you. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. Until the next video, we'll see you later.